but this kind of like um, you know repression of monitoring of. Um, suppression of protests. I mean, it's a tale as old as time. As long as people have been mm-hmm. protesting and trying to disrupt the power of people with power and capital, you've had this shit going on. I mean, part of this report about the um, the crackdown on climate protesters came with this story, this insane story out of Victoria about Sarah Rees, who's a yeah. conservationist who's been you know organising protests to try and stop a bit of logging. And she found out that a private investigator had been hired by Vic Forrest's which is a government agency, right, owned and run by the- Very normal. <laughs> cool government. Cool normal government. Cool normal government. Stuff. Victorian state government hires a private investigator to follow her for four days to dig up any dirt, right? And and they're really explicit. The, yeah. the private, the PI is going the record saying, they said, get dirt on this lady. I want to know where she's going. I wanted to have all this shit on her to obviously yeah. discredit her because the protests were clearly working or making an impact and garnering a lot of community support against a whole bunch of logging projects. And this, have you ever heard of the spy cop scandal in the UK? No. Oh my God. Fucking bonkers. <laughs> so this is like undercover cops infiltrating environmentalists and unionists mm. to the point where they would be there for years, form romantic relationships with oh, people. Yeah. Classic. Classic style, yeah. And, you know, and lots of people, you know, pursued this through the courts and charged these people with rape because they were, you know, having sex under false pretenses. Yeah, they were in p- part of a leftist movement trying to get a bit of justice in the fucking world and the person they're, like, married to has a secret yeah. family somewhere else on the other side of the country and is an undercover it cop. It could be me. It could be you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs>